Oh, so you were saying like, so you asked for it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like a gift, like you asked for it for the second date. No, I said buy me a gift. No, he said, he no, said no. I'm in New York for two days, and I said it's too much for me, too much trouble for me to get back. Then buy me a gift if you want to see me. And then he said, what designer? No, you said in your pre-show notes, I asked for a Tiffany gold bracelet in order to go on the date, and he complied. So like what I literally just said was what happened. I texted, he texted me, I'm coming to New York for two days, come hang out with me. I said, no, I'm in Mexico, I don't want to go back. He's like, but it's too much trouble. And he begged a little bit. I was like, okay, then so, uh, give me so a you gift. Asked for and it. Then, you asked like, for it. Yeah, I've asked, for, that's what happened. So he paid for your flight back? Mm -hmm. And then he also had to... Was it a round trip that he sent you back to Tulum? I assume Tulum? you were in Tulum, Mexico. No, I was Mexico. in Mexico City. Oh, nice, that's okay. a fun place. Mm -hmm. Now, going around the table on this, do you, th if you wanted to go on a second date with a guy and he said, well, you have to buy me a $2,500 item, would you not just laugh in his fucking face, starting with you? I would laugh in his face and I would not talk to him. <laughs> I would too. But why? Oh. Because he's a man and you're the woman? Because, no, it has nothing to do with men and women. Everything to do with what I wanted. But what if he wants it? Oh, it's the same it point. It doesn't matter what if he, he wants. No, it but matters what, what if, I want. So if a guy oh did that, though, like let's say you went on a first date yeah. with a guy and you want to go on a second date with him, yeah. and he's like, well, I, it's kind of trouble for me. I guess I can go on a second date with you if you spend $2,500 on me. Okay. How, how would you react? I just wouldn't go on a date with him. Would you laugh? I don't know if I would laugh or not, maybe. Would you think that's a ridiculous ask? Yeah, I would think maybe yeah. he doesn't want to go on a second date. That's why he asked for such a thing. Yeah. Embarrassing, What man. about you? No, I will not do because that. Because are you embarrassing? You wouldn't do that? Oh, maybe if that. I had the money. <laughs> not that way. If you had the money, huh? you would do it? Okay. Maybe. I think that's crazy after meeting somebody for only once. Mm -hmm. Sure. What? No, but listen, like I said, I like to spend money on my men, <laughs> but not right. after a second date. Spend it on my boyfriend, not mm. on a second date. Would you do that it's if, if a girl asked? Straight up mental illness. <laughs> There's no possible way. I, I can't imagine a scenario where I would even kind of entertain that. Your man card has to be revoked if you do some shit like that. Yeah, that's insane. That's crazy. Even if you were a millionaire... The idea that you would let so because that's actually demeaning. The bow yeah. is like respect. The to to ask someone for a monetary gift in order for their time. When you have little and you give little, you think that's a lot. When you have a lot, you give a little. That's very little. It's so just, it's like it's about how big you are inside. Even pathetic. if a woman asked it's for a twenty dollar no, bracelet to go on a date with me, I would pathetic. be like, no. It's just. It's pathetic. the requirement. Yeah. I would say no because it seems like he's depending on me, to. I guess, be, fi mm -hmm. be financially ready for everything sure. else. Okay. Let's see. You said, a guy you just started seeing brought me to their dental school graduation party and I made a complete fool of yourself. Right. So it's during COVID and because of COVID, there's no, sorry. There's no, there are a couple years, there's no graduation party for his uh, dental school. So he finally had one. So he didn't have one for three years. And then he decided to bring me on a second date or a third date. Maybe I'm cursed on a second date or something. And then at first I wore a red dress. He came into my room and asked me to change the dress because he said it would look too, too much. And then I changed the dress to black. And then we went to the party and his friend got drunk and accidentally, accidentally spilled wine on my shoes, on my dress, on my shoes and on my dress. And, and I just broke out crying and I couldn't stop crying because mm -hmm. I feel like I was just triggered by something. And I just cried all night with him. And then okay. he never saw me again. You said you groped a, a guy at the bar because you were bored. <sighs> Can we Is move this... on to another person for a bit? Well, I got to get through all your notes here. Okay, so. sure. Was this the thing you already told us about? Mm, I don't think so. So there's one time I was at a bar and my friend was hit on by an Australian dude and she's really interested. So I was being a good friend, trying to make conversation with the neighboring. And then this guy 
has pretty good big arms, really into arms. So I started like, you know, chatting with him, talking to him about his arms. I was like, can I touch it? And I started touching his arms. And like, you know, I just started, you can tell when a guy likes it. So I started, you know, groping him, touching him. He really liked me. And we left contact. The next day he asked me out. But at the time I was like, my therapist was like, don't date. So I decided not to date. I said, no, I'm not dating at the moment. Two weeks later, I was filming a TikTok. That's when I had 2,000 followers, a little less than. So I was like, I was willing to do anything to increase my views. I was catcalling men on the street. That was one and only time I was catcalling men on the street. And that me and my friend were setting up a camera. And then we did that for two hours. And the last five minutes, I was like, OK, just one last guy. And then I'm going to go home. And then this guy walks past, two guys walk past in suits. Mm-hmm. I catcalled them. And then they're like, oh my god, I know you. Turns out he recognized me from uh, two weeks ago. And then that's mm-hmm. how we met again. Do but, you yeah. still have therapy? Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Okay. You, what, um, uh, what, can you give me an example of a catcall for a man? Like, what were you doing? It's not really catcall. Like, I was really just complimenting okay. them. You said you were brought to, to you much. were brought to a and when you say at least the groping, you were just like touching his biceps. Is that it? Oh, sorry. What? Are we, you actually okay? Sorry, I was reading a negative yeah. comment. Yeah. Okay. About just me. Just ignore it. Just okay, ignore I, it. Okay. You said you were brought to a surprise date at a Michelin star restaurant. He prepared a surprise with a diamond ring and champagne. Yeah. How much was the diamond ring? Five thousand dollars from Tiffany's. And this was a first date, second date, third date? No, we we were dating for half a year. Oh, half a year. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And we were serious, very serious. Like was talking he, about marriage. Was it a proposal or just a here's a gift? I don't know if I can say that. I don't want to say that here, actually. So oh, a proposal. proposal. I don't want to say that yeah, here. Yeah, so a proposal. <laughs> we'll say it for you. Don't like, worry. Why, I don't what would be say. wrong if that was if he proposed to you? That's. No, it's just for privacy reasons because some people might know like that. So I don't know. Okay. I don't want to say. All right. Let's see. Are these you, men rich? I just have to. Are these men rich, or are they like, are they like doing the most to get you these things? I no. Th- most of them are my colleagues. They're pretty wealthy, and but I have dated a poor person before, like people who make less. No, 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 like people who make like less. No, sure, you can talk about poor people. I, I grew up poor. It's fine. Yeah. No, I, I my my par- Yeah, okay. So they're your colleagues. So then you have the same amount of money or close to it personally yeah but i spend a lot of it on myself like i spend so mm. much money on myself that's so tough i don't yeah. keep Sounds anything hard. yeah i have a shopping it's addiction so hard. <laughs> it's, it's so really hard. hard it's so difficult <laughs> to be a woman but do you like because you take so much care of yourself is it like that you expect a man to take care of you in the same way you do for yourself like financially with the gifts and stuff like that that would be nice. Does because your father you take care of your mother? Right? You expect the gifts, expect everything. financially. That's where I learned it from. He was the breadwinner. We had a lot of bad things happen to my family, but one thing that was really consistent was that he's really a big gift giver. And I think that's where I got it from. And every time he go on business trip, he would always ask me what I want. And mm. I think that's also... I mean, it's bad. It's terrible. But he used it as a way to apologize. Are and you an only child? No, I have a younger brother. So okay. he expresses his love with gifts. With gift giving. Isn't that a little bit lonely as well? I think among my dad's side of family, we're not very close. But my mom's side gave me like a lot of love. So like, I feel like that filled. But that if you time. look like at my your relationship with your daddy, only uh, giving you gifts and gifts, isn't yeah, it a little def- bit lonely? I definitely lack a certain like secure bond with men. That's why I was a serial. You think? Leader. <laughs> but either way, is it like when you get gifts, is that reminding you of your dad a little bit, the bond that you're having? Yeah, because you... So you have a little bit of daddy issues? I have a lot of daddy issues. That's sexy. Thank you. Okay. You went back to the hotel with a Tiffany suitcase and a bag of clothes I put into shopping bag during our trip that he noticed and purchased. This so is that the trip diamond we went ring. to... So that trip, we went to Chicago. That's where I got the diamond ring. And after I got... That on, the diamond ring happened on the third or fourth day of the trip. The first day, I put some clothes in the shopping bag. And when I was napping, he actually bought it and did, got it delivered to the hotel room so in Chicago. So he was proposing all the way down, days and, in, nervous as fuck. And then, so when I got back after the Warm. diamond ring, I see a suitcase. And um, the clothes I bought was inside. Mm. It was Damn. the mm. best Sims. date I've Sims ever had. are like ruining dating for like... 
everybody. Yeah, do you think do you think you were nice to him? Like, do you think he had like you were kind to him yeah, and gentle? Yeah, I'm also a very generous person. I got him a very expensive watch also. Hmm. Like, for example, I took this person on a date before where I... It's a surprise Broadway ticket. Wait. It was the best seat. It was a surprise. And it cost a lot of money, too. Okay. I don't think about it that way, yeah. So, Sorry. anyways, you also said you got too drunk during a date and you were taken by ambulance? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Like you... So... Short version, please, and leave the Sorry. mic at the edge of the table. So it was a party, mm -hmm. and it was like, I was really nervous because he's one of the most attractive guys I've dated, so I just kept on drinking. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, I want to take a nap. So I leaned against the yeah. chair, and then I just couldn't wake up, they say, but I don't remember a that. A quick date nap. People take them. Mm -hmm. And then they call the ambulance because they don't know me well enough to know. Um, okay. All right. Just a powerful J 10 J minutes J in the middle of your dinner. The Asian girl doesn't look anything special. If I was hammered, damn, bro, what the fuck? I'd give her a 4.2. You're a gold digger. I want my money back. Hmm. She yeah. wants his $200 back. Do you want a response? Or do you have a response to JJ Matt here? No, I definitely think some people might think I'm 4.2. Okay. But that's okay. 10 out of 10 amigos. That's why we're friends. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Let's York? see. Yeah. You um, said that. Oh, perfect. All right, you guys can bond after the show. Mm -hmm. You said that you like to promote healthy female sexual pleasures, parentheses, orgasms. Yes. Okay, what? cool. I like female orgasms. I think guys do too. Like other people's or? <laughs> no, 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 no. I like, I want every woman to know how to pleasure themselves to completion mm -hmm. as many times as possible. Okay. You said you like to encourage girls to do more and date more to gain more experience. Yeah, more data points. Otherwise, your data will be skewed. It's not complete. Okay. okay. So, like, you think women should be dating multiple men at the same time? No, that's not true. I think well, I, I'm right asking now, a question. I, yeah. no, I, I don't think so. I think at this point in my life, I actually do want to date one person at a time. Now you do. Yeah, now I do. But I didn't before. Mm -hmm. Like so I said, dating... I just started getting serious with right, this but guy. So let's talk about before. You were dating multiple people at the same yeah. time. Would you ever like sleep with multiple people at the same time? No, because I would be too scared of STD. I get checked like every other week. I'm paranoid mm -hmm. okay. and I'm anxious. But you would be dating then multiple people? Yeah, going on dates. What was the most amount of... I, I hear this term roster, right? Mm -hmm. What was the biggest your roster ever was? Like, I don't think I ever had... If, so there's one week I had a date every single date with different men, mm -hmm. but they're all first dates, and I didn't have for second dates with any of the men. Mm -hmm. And there were days where it was so... There were one time on Tuesday, a guy was like, can I take you out tomorrow? I said, I'm booked up tomorrow. Can you do breakfast? So he actually came to my work. We had breakfast as a breakfast date. And there's a yeah. lunch date also. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like I squeeze in, but they never got a second date. It's just not... No, nothing physical. But so too. you went on one date every single day of the week. There, there was a period of my time I did that for. Like for more a, than one week. I don't know, like maybe. A couple months. I don't know the specifics. How I don't do you okay. find that many guys oh. that you I like enough to find go on the a date other with. sock to put on? When? Where do you find? <laughs> where do you find those men? When? Like, I are they know. really They're valuable? Just, like, she lives in New York City. Yeah, she's in New so York. It's a pretty lot of If you go out, you can get like four or five number if you are actually dancing with people and chatting with people. Do you, do you have a brother? Just curious. Younger brother. What, how old is he? Six years younger than me. He's so 21. he's 21? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just curious. Do you think he has like equivalent, like if he wanted to, do you think he could get a date with a girl every single day of the week? No. Why is that? Does he, does he ever, do you ever talk to him about dating? Yeah. Do you think, does he struggle? So first of all, I want to just announce this. Is, he's a very, very private person. And yeah, if I say to, anything bad, to Tony, please forgive your sister. Oh. But I want to do say, this. Okay? Say anything about Tony, you guys. Everyone be cool. You call him by his name. <laughs> his, <laughs> address, <laughs> his address is, okay. Name and everything. Uh, uh, so Tony, what about Tony? So, go ahead. He likes boys, and he's oh, a little feminine. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ever growing up, I always thought that way. Is he bi or is he gay? I think he's gay. Okay. Well, I can't really go this route then. But yeah. If he was straight, though, do you think he would? Based on, I think, like, he's a little on the short side, and I'm kind of glad he's gay, because I think as a woman, I, I like taller men, so I would feel kind of like, you know, Wait, hold on. Him. He's your brother. I wouldn't want right. to date him. So, like, because he's gay, I feel like it's less... Maybe, I might be wrong, but I feel like they're more lenient. Women definitely have dating on easy mode compared to men. 
Did you ever go on multiple dates in one day? Like two dates in yeah, one day? Three I, dates? Yeah. Three dates? I don't remember three, but two definitely. Okay, you've had two, two dates. I mean, like, f I would say very few men are able to line up, like, a date with a different woman every single day of the week. I don't know what the percentage is, but I was asking about your brother because I like to think about, like, okay, well, if a woman of, you know, based on how she looks or whatever, this, this is her sexual optionality. And if you look at, like, her brother, which would be pretty close to her, like, what would be her looks equivalent, I often get reports from women that they can get laid super early. Well, I mean, that's a given with women. Get laid super easily, go on dates super easily. But then you ask about their brothers, and their brothers are significantly struggling to date, which is just an interesting, like, your looks equivalent like somebody who shares your genetics yeah. mm -hmm. is struggling yeah. to date. Like, it is interesting. So y'all have that shit on easy mode, son. Yeah. Let me read this from FPV Flight Airborne. Please do an episode with, an, with all of the most destructive women. Asian girl, uh, Desiree, the blonde is super hot. Send me a message. Who's the? Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> FPV flight airborne. There's your husband. There you go. There you oh, go. no, oh, he's in the military. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trigger. Yeah. Tracks. Yo, thank you, FPV. Appreciate it, man. Okay, we have, let's see. You wanted to touch on daddy issues and trauma. Ah, we don't have to yeah, go there. Yeah, let's not talk anymore. But you have been in therapy for six years? Yeah. Yes. Still, right? You're still. Has it helped? Yeah. Okay. I haven't really Yeah, just heard question anybody. woman. I, That's I, a fashionable thing to do. I haven't heard anybody who's like gone to therapy mm. and actually like gotten better. You know, yeah. you are the That's average the of the five people around you, right? So it doesn't surprise me people yeah. around you didn't get better. It seemed like Name, you were not well, the average better. for him would be the hundreds of women. No, he talks we are to not around him. Yeah. Okay, we are not around him. I'm not gonna be around him after this. But you are currently. I am, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, why is that? <laughs> Nothing. Can Bro, I wouldn't. You would have even if you offered to pay me to date you, I wouldn't do that. I don't shit. want to date. You. I don't want to I date you either, bro. You're fucking crazy. I know. I know. I bro, know. There will be murder. You dated a fuck ton of dudes. <laughs> I ain't about that. You don't. You know nothing about anything. You're just making assumptions. Oh, you're it's told all over, everybody it's that all you date over, a lot. It's of... all over your TikTok. Oh, really? Everything you see online is real. It sounds like something you say. No, you're say. just saying that you are. On TikTok, telling about your real life, so that's yeah. not an assumption you're telling about your real life. So ju so just because I tell stories yeah. about different men, that means I had sex with many men. I didn't say that. that he didn't really say you had sex. sex. He didn't say you were. What's whore many? Or what, but you probably were them? having sex with him. Okay, <laughs> make another assumption. What else do you assume about me? Don't get. How about you talk I mean, about that's, it? That's the extent of it. Okay, cool. <laughs> but I mean. Yeah, move on. You're then. trying to be like, oh, Brian really wants to fuck me, but gross. Oh, I don't think you want to fuck me. I think. I'm no, I don't. Repulse. I know that. Like, I accept that fact, and I actually Bro, have well, that prediction. I was like, we literally cannot be in the same room, but I have to because I said yes. Why don't you want to be in the same room? Because of the way he treats women, how he uh, you, I don't, don't you, think, no, 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 I don't no. think you said yes. I think he said yes. You no, want we to be like me. Oh, okay, okay. He saw your TikTok and thought, yeah, this, so, this is awesome. Yeah, I got to get much. this girl on here. Pretty and much. he was correct, because this is entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, sorry, the objection here is the way that I treat women? Yeah, I just how? think that... How do I I've treat heard, women? I don't know. You can air your criticism. I just said, said it. I said that the way you treat women, like you make her cry, mm. and you well, really no, 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 no. focus on. on the body I, thing. I don't, I don't, hold on. I'm sorry. No, hold on. Okay. I made her cry, or she cried. And you see... Well, I don't I really think, think that you're being a very nice person. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. That's just my I, opinion, but... I mean, I don't care if you think I'm ugly. I don't care. I, hold on. Did I call you ugly? No, but you I called me you delusional were... for thinking that I'm attractive. No, 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 no. not for thinking you're uh, attractive. You said you were a 10 out of 10. Okay, then 9. Whatever you want me to say. So I, that, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I didn't say you were unattractive. I didn't say any of that. All I simply said, because I don't, I don't make it a habit to actually give somebody a rating, but if somebody does say they're a 10 or they're a 9 and it's like, no offense, clearly not the case. 
Well, I'm negative not just going to tamper you and like just agree with you on everything you said. Brian, Desiree plus ISIS episode now. Now we need an ISIS. Episode. We need an ISIS one-on-one -on -one deep dive into all her social media. Series. Just review all her TikToks. That's how you're going to get a Netflix deal, by the way. <laughs> negative 200. Appreciate it, man. We have another chat here from. Did the girls get pre-show instructions this time about how to better answer the rate yourself question? This is, this is the first time they didn't all answer 10 out of 10. That authenticity is refreshing. Well, there's two things here. One, a lot of the girls, most of the girls actually don't say 10. Like, not just this panel, but all the other panels. It's usually one, two, or three. Also, there is a tendency if the per first person, this is not just for this question, but any mm -hmm. question, if the first person gives an answer, it's going to say poison the well for all the like following people. So, you should put in a paper. And that is a good it. idea. We should that do is a good idea. Oh. Name taken. Appreciate it, man. So how do I treat women? Listen to them and don't question their answer. Every time I say yes or no, you question, so, yeah, yeah, really? I know. Oh, are you telling the truth? Are you lying? It's like, this is on. a This is literally a podcast about being yeah. confrontational. That's why seven. I'm being it confrontational just, yeah. right now. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. You, it, it, it's cra it would be like if you showed up to a gym where they do jujitsu and you're like, all these people keep wrestling me. This shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're yeah. literally here to confront your opinions and ideas and bounce them off of other people and Brian is well known for his opinions. Yeah, I it's crazy I that you're surprised know, right was, now. I am surprised. This is my first time I ever watched the podcast. You didn't you look like, it up before what? you came. I did watch a few clips, but it doesn't represent the entirety of his certain wording in his So you what? think he's Hold on. I called her delusional. That's, That's it. And I was very, very prepared for you to say some shit because obviously you do this every single time. Get that? Like, because I basically knew. That's why, honestly, a lot of these women mm -hmm. probably think they're more attractive than they said that they were because they knew you were going to attack them. All right, but we are it, on I his think, podcast. Yeah. He has his opinion. Damn, the audacity of this man. Like, the point of the question of asking someone if they're a 10 of 10 and when you say women are like, oh, I'm, I'm answering less than because I believe I'm more, but I don't want to get confronted. Yes. That's the point of the question is, to, is to be confronted about your possible delusion regarding your place in society or how it perceives you. I, and and he not... asks the question every podcast because this is a podcast about women and dating, yeah. and women have a problem with how they perceive reality. Interesting to reveal that. It is That's why the question is so illuminating and entertaining for people who are watching. It is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's go next off. one. It next is one. not. Okay. It is go not off, good okay. to adver advertise. It is interesting to reveal, but it's not good to advertise because it spreads the wrong message. So it is. If I'm to be on your podcast, I want to spread my message, what I believe in. That's why, regardless of question or who he is or what type of podcaster he is, that's my opinion. Yeah, the and audacity of Brian. And he gave you a platform to voice it. Yes. Yeah, and I voiced it. Yeah, but so I don't like, think it, it is. Uh, I don't think it's mistreatment or like treating a woman badly to disagree with them on their own assessment here. I'm not going to kiss your ass. I'm not here to just co-sign and agree with everything that you say. Because I think for women, Delulu is the so, so Lulu. So we I mean, must it's be not, It's not. It's not. In my <laughs> case, it is. Be <laughs> honest to yourself. It's not. I am honest to myself. And you cannot call Brian a dick because it's his podcast. He's still in his chair. No, you can call Jesus. me a dick. That's fine. But you have your own reality. Um, I was just going to say, Brian is going to have his own opinions. You're going to have your own opinions. Please. And... Um. I think it's just interesting yeah. because the audacity of Brian. Saying, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just think Rude. it's interesting how, I mean, I, I disagree with how you guys are saying, oh, like you're making girls cry, like things like that. I do but it's I also choice. disagree. Yeah. It's your choice to be offended and let it get to you. Yeah. I'm um, overwhelmed. I'm not offended. You know? I get called ugly every single and day. Yeah, but it's not. I'm not calling schools, you ugly, though. Right? I'm, I'm not calling you ugly. But you call me delusional like, when I'm addressed the fact that I know not everybody thinks I'm attractive, and I know that as a fact. I said that. I said, I said that I think that if I was, but I do think that the average American person is not the most attractive. Let's go to Walmart. Let's go to Walmart. Let's look at the Walmart yeah. customers. But like, that's not the point. Oh, it, speak for yourself. Said, I love it. He just said you are a little delusional. So he said delusional so is the five? solution. So a five is there's nothing like, okay, going on. He didn't say like anything wrong. Yeah. All right, next What'd you topic. Yourself? You said, what did you topic. say? I said I was a five. Yeah, and you, do you know how you make your money? By being hot. 
So who, like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, By desperate men. That's how we make money. I'm in the industry as well. Yeah, and you're more attractive that's than the That's not because person. we are hot, because we have desperate men paying us on our platform. But that's how we make just, money. I, just, I think of a 10, and I think Be of, honest, like, Megan on. Fox Go in her clean. prime, and I'm like... <laughs> How do I, I compare to Megan Fox? But I didn't say that five. everyone thinks I'm a 10. <laughs> we have to be honest. Anyways. We're getting paid for I didn't say on. everyone thinks okay. I'm a 10. I said I moving think I'm it, a 10. Moving it on. More ISIS stuff, though. We um. can move on. It's been a long time on me. ISIS do we need have, a break. Do we have time yeah. for other people? She's like, let, let me break. Well, so oh, so I'll get through a few yeah. more notes with you, then I'll get to other yeah. people's notes here. So let's see. Would love to share the changes I had when dating from super clingy codependency. Poor, poor emotional control and outburst to mature ways to, eh, whatever, skip. You said, uh, But well, remember that man said that his wife gets salty? I've done that before. Mike Davis donated $200. When did this show become a therapy session? I don't blame women. They know not what they do. I blame you sucker simps for blowing up mitts. Word. A real man works on his game to earn that, a high level female. That is what I'm talking about. True. There, that's Mike Davis, by the way. Yo, Mike. Dude, oh. join our Discord, Mike. I'll get you a roll. Complimentary Mike, can you bring roll. me some join. food? I'm a little hungry. He, he does own a bunch of Burger Kings. Oh, my God. Good to see you in the chat, Mike Davis. Hope you're having a good night over there on the East Coast. So, Isis, you said more is more. Always date more, not less. Each interaction is a data point that will enrich you as a woman. Yeah, like I said. Is more it? experience is good. You will figure out what you want. Is it? Yeah. What about all the like trauma, though? Yeah, it is hard, but trauma, yeah, it's true. Trauma that doesn't transform, transmit, so you will keep transmitting the trauma, but if you heal, mm -hmm. you'll get stronger. And that's what I hope everybody does, is heal. Okay. Well, you used to be a serial dater. Yeah. You've had a lot of turmoil and heartbreak. It might seem like I'm always struggling. All these heartaches gave me exposure therapy and experience. I would go through them all over again. How long were you serial dating, roster, rotation, whatever? It's not uh, how long. Like I dated my ex-boyfriend, and bef since 18, no, since 16, it's more always like I already look for the next uh, boyfriend, already have feelings for the next person before breaking up with the current one. Okay. So it was maybe like three guys back to back. I didn't give give any break. Why do you not fight to stay with one man if you are really in love? Because I was just not like in love. Like that's what I love guess. is about, right? Maybe fighting, I, continue. Because I didn't love myself fully. I couldn't love other people, even though they are really loving to me. I couldn't see the value in But that them is probably why men do not me. marry you yet. No, it's because I didn't want to marry them because I don't love, like, I don't think I'm fully myself yet. Well, do you think that you were sad and didn't love yourself in relation to your behaviors? In relation to... Because you're so, saying it, you're so when you say like, oh, I need all these data yeah. points, I should date a lot. But then when I was doing that, I felt worthless and I did not love myself. That's wouldn't that I, be the opposite that, of what that you mean? exposed the problem? You know, I was suffering. I was like, why am I suffering? And but, I realized, but I, oh, what if it's because the I problem love was exposed to you when like a person says, hey, don't just date around because it's going to be unfulfilling and ultimately hurt you. You should decide what you want from an intimate relationship and just don't settle for anything less than that. And are you not well, a little? If someone scared? talked to me like that, do you think I would listen? Of course not. Oh, but I make the same mistake all the time, again and again. Are you not oh. a little bit... And if you do not have that trigger anymore, uh. you will find it somewhere else and else and else. Are you not a little bit scared you will never find that fulfilling trigger in No, I think I believe in myself. Good for you. All right. And then, let's see. You said monogamy isn't human nature. Marriage has always been an exchange of power money. We need to be more realistic. Don't marry potential. Yeah. So what do you mean by don't marry I potential? think that until this guy has proven that he can financially support me and my future children and our lifestyle, I won't marry them. Okay. Even if they have the potential to earn down the road? Yeah, potential isn't you're, real. You're underestimating okay. the power you of see like, what a couple can achieve together. I agree. You pass up on a guy before he has reached or prior to him reaching that point. You could be passing up on a millionaire. But at the same time, there could be a lot of people that match what I like. 
Your say potential is not yourself. real, but you believe in your own potential to be a billionaire. So why I, is that man always so wrong in your eyes? No, potential not is not real. Wrong. Would you believe in your own potential? You probably go home, light a candle, thank God for this podcast and your potential. But you say a man doesn't have potential? Men have potential. But I didn't you do say not men believe have potential. in potential. I didn't say men don't have potential. I'm saying I want the men who already got their bag. But That's what I'm saying. Why does the money matter? You to could be me, missing out on an amazing me. guy. But you I could get an amazing together. man who already have money. But what? why would he want you? Because you're not because there yet. Matter. Because you can find someone who's compatible to you that you might think is trash. You know, like, do you think he would treat you very well or thinks of himself your, well? That's your opinion. Because you have so that's from your perspective. It is my perspective. That's why I'm yeah, talking to you about because it. Because they're, they're yeah, exactly. So but I if think you that have there a are man. guys who I think are compatible to me and watch this podcast will be okay because this is me. I can't change who I am. He may have I don't say these things or pretend. Giovanni J donated two hundred dollars. Yeah, thank you, Giovanni. Any man Appreciate that me. would marry any of the prostitutes on here absent complete repentance is a zero. Not the everybody poorest is poorest man a in the world is wealthier thank than you. someone that wife's a proud prostitute. Not everybody is a prostitute here. Yo, Giovanni. Disclaimer. Merci beaucoup. Thank you for the uh, TTS there, man. Really appreciate it. Good to see you in the chat. And now we, I'm glad we fixed the whole uh, Giovanni TTS robot naming thing. Uh, okay. And so you also said uh, monogamy isn't human nature. I think it's hard. It takes discipline. But you're, for you? For everybody. It's just against nature. I think for men... For women, I think they're both hard. I so think you, a lot of people you, are tempted. Have you ever not been monogamous? No, I've always been monogamous, but there's been hardship. Like there were dry times we don't have passion anymore, and I don't know what to do. And but if you really are in love as a woman, okay. if I'm in love, I only see one person. There's one person in my head, in my eyes that my body is attracted to. There's nobody. Else. Mm -hmm. If you're really in love, there's just one man, one feeling. Mm -hmm. Like that's a woman's thing, right? Mm -hmm. So how does that work? To have multiple men in your life then? I don't if you're really in love, in if you talk life, about I mean, love. I don't, I don't fall in love with them. I go on first date with different men. I don't understand what you're talking about. No, if you're like really in love, you want to have like a little bit monogamous relationship. I just think monogamy work? is hard. And I think people have to put hard works into monogamy. That's why there's mm. a lot of divorce rate. Mm. And it take, that's why I want the perfect man. Because I don't want to, when they want to divorce him for some dumb reason. Mm -hmm. You know, because I dated someone for five years. He's wonderful. And and I don't know why this passion was lost. So sometimes love is gone. You don't know why. That's all relationships. And it's really hard. Yeah. The passion ebbs and flows. Exactly. So that's, that's why, why, that's why the commitment the is so important. You know, I think it's not compatibility. It's com commitment. But, but, well, but you have how, to have the same values yeah, for sure, exactly. but you have to commit. There you know, time, it's not though, about not, compatibility. You have to the right person. No. The what right person want? is the person you choose. Yes. You know, Done. but you should be. There's dating? nothing else needed. If oh you choose them, they're the right person. I know the perfect man for her. I don't know. You know who you should be dating? Donald Trump. You know, no, Johnny Sins because he can do everything every job every everything <laughs> you should be dating him it would be perfect oh my god what?